Hi, Hi everyone. everyone. Welcome, Welcome to, to Shady Vlog. Vlog. Today we will be showing you a guide, a seven step guide for the Canadian uh, PR process. This is based on our experience. So we've gathered uh, seven steps for the initial process. Without further ado, let's get started with the first step. So the first step would be to ca calculate your CRA score. Comprehensive Ranking System score, which uh, you can calculate from the immigra Canadian Immigration website. Uh, the link will be in the description below. And uh, so the points are out of 1,200, and you get points from uh, your age, your education, qualifications, work experience, and um, English language, English language mm -hmm. assessment. And you will get an additional 600 points if you have a job offer or a provincial mm. nomination. And uh, so one, this would be the major step to calculate your CRA score. Second step is to check your ITA scores. ITA stands for invitation to apply. And this is sent to all the PR applicants who are in that PR common uh, general pool uh, based on the government's CRA cutoff for that invitation round. Uh, just a... Like additional point if, if your score is not uh, aligning with the current CRA score don't worry if it's above 400 there's a high chance of that you getting uh, you're still getting in another request for maybe a provincial nomination program or any other uh, programs that's uh, under the umbrella of the express entry process next uh, step after checking the ITA is to get your ECA assessment that is educational credential assessment that is carried out by a government approved organization. This will um, review your highest educational qualification and will give you an assessment saying if it's uh, equal and if it's approved by the government of uh, Canada. Uh, to meet the Canadian standard. That Canadian meets the Canadian standard. Standard. Yes. Uh, so uh, there's a couple of organizations that's as she mentioned approved by the uh, government and we'll have the description below we selected the, the organization session called West, <coughs> which is a uh, world educational system services yeah world education. Uh, we went with them because of the reviews that we could uh, we found online and the positive reviews as well as the costs uh, associated with it so you are yours you can select whichever the organization that you feel most comfortable the assessment takes about two months so you yes. will have to we suggest that you do it as the first step maybe so it then by the time you check do the other steps your assessment will be there with you yes true so the fourth step is to complete uh, the english language assessment we went ahead with ilts general uh, examination which is uh, which is valid for two years and uh, remember that these I uh, English assessment scores have a major impact on your um, CRA scores mm -hmm. and it might determine if you get your application or not so do your best and uh, remember it's valid only for two years yes and uh, if you if the score is a bit lower than what you were expecting if it, it impacted your I guess you can obviously do it again uh, we'll recommend that if you're on the cutoff, like the, on the margin, when it comes to CRS scores, to give another try if your score is a bit low, the English language score is a bit low, and to give it a try and to see if you can increase it. Fifth step is to provide the proof of funding. The funding requirement will, de uh, will be uh, determined based on the number of applicants. We'll have a description below uh, for the latest uh, requirement by the Government of Canada. For the fund, when it comes to the fundings, uh, a small tip maybe you can uh, check your proof of funding requirement uh, prior to starting the process so mm -hmm. you can prepare yourself financially when you get the uh, invitation to apply. The sixth step would be to um, get your NOC number. NOC stands for National Occupational Classification. So, this uh, they have given a variety of job titles and um, so based on your qualifications, your job duties, title, experience, work experience, you can select uh, the best option for your, which classifies you, yourself. 
the best option and that will be your NOC number going forward and uh, yeah so try to get the one that suits you best based on your work experience if yeah. you yeah. and to add on to that like a like a tip would be if you had multiple work experiences um, Make sure that you select the uh, experience, work experience with the most lengthy, uh, the time more, the longer duration, and to use that uh, work experience and then find the NOC that matches it. Because the, if you put multiple NOCs, then the, it's going to be conflicting. So make sure you stick to one major NOC uh, when you're selecting uh, the NOC from the list. Okay, so we have reached to the seventh step of our PR process guide which is to obtain all the documentation that we needed. Uh, for our PR application, we provided uh, a police clearance certificate. Uh, just a point, uh, if, you're, if you lived in a car, another country for more than six months, make sure that um, you obtain a police clearance certificate from their respective country. Uh, we have, uh, you can find the uh, link in the description below for the latest, and you can see if you do require to obtain a police clearance certificate from their respective country if you've been there for more than six months. And the next uh, certificate was the birth certificate. Birth certificate. And uh, you will have to get it, if it's in a foreign language, you'll have to get it translated to English or French. And you'll have to submit it along with the original copies. Um, the same goes for the marriage certificate as well. Uh, and the next letter would next documentations would be to obtain your service letters from your current and previous employers. And the last uh, will be your proof of funding. Uh, this can be in uh, either f uh, bank statements, uh, investment certificates, or any other documentation which shows that you have proof of funding. Yes, and uh, the other two documents would be the ECA as well as the English language uh, certifi uh, certificate that you'll be obtaining in the pre uh, steps that we mentioned earlier. So this was based on our application, the documents that we submitted. So this might differ based on your application and you might have to submit uh, more, more documents or even less documents. Yes. Oh, and also one more documentation is uh, we actually scanned our passports, the entire passport. So I think uh, that's also a requirement for the documentation. So uh, check that and sub, uh, you might have to scan the entire passport from first page to the last and to submit uh, that copies as well. And make sure that your passport has expiry in another few years because they check for the expiry as well. Yes. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you all. That's our seven step guide. Uh, from my experience when it comes to the PR, a Canadian PR express entry application process. Thank you all for joining and watching ShareBe Vlog. Hopefully our information that we provided for you was helpful. And watch out for our next video which will be on how to calculate your CRS course. And if you do like our videos, please subscribe and like our videos. And stay tuned for, as you mentioned, for our more updates on how to do Canadian uh, PR process and Thank our you. Canadian experience here in Canada. Thank you all for watching Shabby Weenlog. Take, Take care, care. Take stay care. blessed, Bye. peace.